beloved harmonious hearts of love's eternal presence. I, goddess of harmony, am eternally grateful for this opportunity to greet you through this format of the Academy's Ascended Master broadcasts. I am one of our group known as the Twelve Goddesses, and together with the Thirteenth Goddess, Beloved Charity, Goddess of Joy, who oversees the Twelve of us, do we extend our love and our divine qualities that each of us represent to each of you. As you may well imagine, my love of harmony has been and continues to be such where I have been raised to the position of Goddess of Harmony. And it is my desire to assist each of you on earth who will accept me and the other goddesses to achieve in your life not only a state of essential harmlessness, to also come to that place where harmony, peace, calmness, and serenity are those loving qualities in you that assist you to fulfill the divine plan of your lives, assist you to achieve the highest states of consciousness, including Christ consciousness, that you may go forth the visionaries, the torchbearers, the waysayers of what is to become the mightiest and most magnificent golden age that is only now in the early years of unfolding upon your planet Earth. For each of you to achieve greater states of enlightenment and illumination, this is only possible when you have achieved greater peace and harmony in your feeling side of life. Before I became an Ascended Master, in that life in which I became interested in spiritual studies, I took conscious steps every day to harmonize my feelings, knowing that harmony in my feelings would be so important, not only in living a happy, a successful life, also that I might fulfill the divine plan of my life and achieve the highest states of consciousness that would ultimately lead me to my freedom in the ascension. So I come to you today to encourage you to take up a constructive activity of actually harmonizing yourself once or twice a day. Once you have begun this practice, you will find it only requires a couple of minutes to so harmonize yourself until you come to a place of feeling and expressing harmony at all times. And even then, the practice of harmonizing yourself becomes your means to remain harmonized all the time, regardless of discord in the world, and also gain such a momentum of harmony where it becomes impossible for any discord to touch or affect your lives. I urge you to realize that being in control of your own feeling body, your own mental body, is of paramount importance to the overall feelings of wellness in your lives. I ask you to remember that there is three to five times the amount of energy in your feeling body than there is in your mind, your mental body. So you can imagine if your feeling body is holding lower negative emotions such as sadness, depression, 
or anger. Never mind other human qualities, such as jealousy or envy. It becomes difficult for you to use your mind in the most positive and illumining ways. These kinds of negative emotions become such a burden on both your mind and your physical body. When this occurs, you find yourselves experiencing mental conflict and imbalance, discord, and even disease in your physical bodies. Realize it is the nature of both your feeling body and your physical body to always be responding to whatever is going on in your mind, your mental body. It is your mind, an aspect of your overall consciousness, where you provide the mental stimuli, mind stimuli, based on your thinking activity, to stimulate the kinds of qualities and feelings that are to express in any moment in your feeling side of life. Now, depending on the history of events, personal events in your lives, there may have been traumatizing experiences that get anchored in your feeling body and of such a nature that you might require a life coach or therapist to assist you to heal past traumas and difficult experiences. Only you know if this is something that is required of you for you to be happy, joyful, and harmonious all the time. It is natural, beloved hearts, to be happy, joyful, and harmonious. And it is natural to desire this state of beingness. And if you wish to be free of the various limitations of living in your earth realm, it is critical to achieve this state of harmony in your lives. Now today, many of you are using spiritual resources such as the sacred fire, the violet purifying flames, to purify any discordant feelings and qualities that may be acting in your feeling body. It is the nature of the sacred fire, when used, to consume all negative qualities and feelings, and then to so purify your feeling body in a way that it becomes quite easy to feel loving happy emotions all the time. Many of you today have sacred fire mantras that you can use to enter into the sacred fire for 10 to 15 minutes a day to purify your feeling body and your mental body and harmonize them. In the Academy login area, in the dashboard, you will find many of these kinds of decrees in the decree section. So, beloved harmonious hearts of love, I am asking each of you to begin an activity of consciously harmonizing yourself every day. Many of you enter into meditations prayers and decrees each day. Please remind yourself that each of these are harmonizing activities. I am asking you to
to be conscious of this to a point where you just love to take precious moments to harmonize yourself or to maintain your state of harmony. Recognize your mind is a powerful resource to harmonize yourself in a very short time as you realize one of the roles of your mind is to provide expansive, positive stimuli to your feeling side of life. Your feeling body is created in a way to always respond to what you are thinking about in your mind and respond to what you are placing your attention upon. So, if you agree to take a couple of minutes, just two or three minutes, and tell yourself, it is time to harmonize yourself. Then you will not only achieve greater harmony in yourself, you will be giving yourself a means to maintain that harmony. Now you already know, beloved, that worrying is not a harmonious activity, that worrying actually agitates your feeling body out of harmony. If you find yourself prone to worry, beloved, it's time to sit yourselves down and have a conversation with yourself, where you tell yourself that worrying about someone or something is not constructive to your own feeling side of life and tell yourself that you choose not to worry any more. If you have concerns, let them not edge upon the negativity of fear. Rather, allow any concern you might have regarding something or someone to find a calm expression in a rightful and respectful way. Or ask yourself, what action can you take about anything you are concerned about? Most importantly, if you become concerned to a degree that your concern turns into worrying, Immediately stop yourself and turn to your own beloved God presence that is within you and above you and ask for guidance, ask for a prompting regarding the matter, or simply give the matter over to your God presence to handle for you. Then let it go. In other words, let go, let God. So you have resources, beloved hearts, to so harmonize yourself. And the quickest way you can do so is to stimulate your feeling body through mind stimuli. In your harmonizing session, which can be done in two to three minutes, begin having the most positive conversation with yourself. Initiate loving thoughts. However, first, center yourself. Be fully present, not distracted. Be conscious of even breath. Your inner self, talk, can be something like 
I am always choosing peace and harmony. I am choosing my life to be one of ease and grace. I love the feelings of calmness, peace, harmony, and serenity. I value strong feelings of peace and harmony in every way that I approach myself, approach others, and life itself. I just love peace and harmony. And I know that my feeling body is listening and responding to my thoughts right now. Then take a few moments of quiet stillness and commune inwardly again. The whole process need not take more than two to three minutes. And there are other ways, too, that you can have a harmonizing session with yourself. Your harmonizing session might be choosing to listen to a song, a piece of music that leaves you feeling so happy, so peaceful, so harmonious, and even so inspired. Or your harmonizing session could be taking up two minutes to fill your mind with the most beautiful imagery, beautiful pictures. Recognize that pictures held in mind or those that get into your mind do impact your feeling side of life which is why the Masters encourage you to be careful what you place your attention upon. Another way that you could have a harmonizing session with yourself is to take two minutes and pour your love. By now, you all know that hidden within the physical heart is a tiny flame, the great heart flame, the great love flame, the great and mighty unfed flame of God. In a harmonizing session, you could invoke the great love flame in your heart, saying something like, From out of the great love flame in my heart, I pour my love to my family, friends, and loved ones. Begin to name some of those individuals. Say, I love you. From out of the flame of love in my heart, I love you. Another harmonizing session for two to three minutes could be one in which you are blessing life. Because you are upon a path that ultimately is to lead to the highest state of consciousness, Christ consciousness, many of you today are taking in Mother Akasha's meditations that open your consciousness to receive a stream of divine consciousness that becomes Christ consciousness that enters into you. Therefore, even now, even though you are not in full expression of Christ consciousness, you have some of the Christ energies and presence that is growing within you. So one harmonizing session could be, in the presence of the Christ, I bless. In the presence of the Christ, I bless this world. In the presence of the Christ, 
I bless the people of earth. In the presence of the Christ, I bless all the kingdoms that share life upon this earth. In the presence of the Christ, I bless the powers of nature and the forces of the elements, and so forth. So simply, precious hearts, I come to you today to encourage you to give yourself a two to three minute harmonizing session once or twice a day. And I am confident that if you do, in a short time, you will feel the difference and love the difference. Remember too, you can call upon your own God presence and I, the goddess of harmony, to pour my feelings of sacred fire harmony into your feeling side of life. All of us come, coming to you from the Ascended Master realms. We are here to serve, here to help you. Now, beloved harmonious hearts of love, I hope that you will take up this little practice. Realize how important it is to feel harmony, to harmonize yourself, and that once you have gain a momentum of taking two to three minutes a day, or even twice a day, you will have found a golden key to keep yourselves as harmonious as is possible, and to maintain that harmony every day of your life. Now I will leave you with a decree prayer to all of us goddesses. This includes the goddess Charity and the twelve goddesses. This decree prayer will be posted in the student dashboard of the Academy website. Beloved Charity, Goddess of Joy, I call to you and your twelve goddesses. Beloved Goddess of Peace, Goddess of Purity, Goddess of Liberty, Goddess of Harmony, Goddess of Justice, Goddess of Victory, Goddess of Hope, Goddess of Faith, Goddess of Love, Goddess of Light, Goddess of Unity, the Elements, and Goddess of Music. I open my heart now to you to receive and ever rejoice as the great goddesses pour forth the qualities of their divine attributes into the feeling side, my feeling side of life. My beloved I am God presence within and above me. Beloved Charity, Goddess of Joy, and the twelve great goddesses with you, I call upon your great assistance that all of us awakening may gracefully empower the resurrection of our lives into our full Christ consciousness through the generating and outpouring of sheer waves of determination flowing through and out from our feeling side of life. Beloved Goddess of Peace, raise us into peaceful relationship with ourselves and all life on earth. Expand within us thy peace commanding presence from out of our sacred golden heart flame. Goddess of Purity, blaze your sacred fire purity of your heart flame into us and purify, purify, purify our minds, 
feelings, bodies, and worlds with the purity that is required to release sheer waves of will and determination through our feelings and desires. Goddess of Liberty, blaze your spirit of freedom through each of us, motivating each one to desire, experience, and express the divine will and sheer waves of determination that are required to lift us into our full Christ consciousness on earth. Goddess of Harmony, flood us with waves of your sacred fire harmony that just loves to release the divine will and sheer and sacred waves of determination that are required for each of us to fulfill our field of dreams, our passion realized, and the divine plan of our lives fulfilled. Goddess of Justice, release your flame of justice within each of us that makes us lovingly intolerant of the injustices in this world and motivates us to live a just life and to defend those who are unjustly treated. Release within us those sheer waves of determination that make us love to give justice back to our beloved I Am God presence for all the lives it has given us on earth. Goddess of Victory, make each of us victorious in living these sheer waves of determination that motivate within us divine impulse and the original God templates of our beingness into full, dynamic, creative expression. Goddess of Hope, release thy sacred flame of hope through our hearts into our aura and radiant field of energy that radiates out from our bodies the hope that lifts all individuals who cross our paths in life. Let sheer waves of determination in us carry that hope out into the world to assist others. Goddess of Faith, amplify our personal will through our feeling bodies and amplify our own faith that we may never falter fear, or doubt. Let your remarkable faith become a strength of light that each of us requires. Goddess of love, release your diamond heart of love through us and assist each of us to give ourselves and our lives all the love we require so that we can successfully generate and radiate sheer waves of determination of our beloved presence through our lives on earth into our field of dreams and the divine expression of our God Self through love's eternal presence. Goddess of Light, overlight each of us and help us 
to expand the light and love of our heart flame. Goddess of light, we accept the great outpouring of your sacred heart flame of eternal light that fills and charges us with all Christ power and streams of cosmic light. Beloved Goddess of Unity, Beloved Akasha Rose, Goddess of the Elements, blaze your sacred fire rose flame of divine love through the elements of our bodies and free our physical bodies of all density and all that does not belong in our physical temples. Free the elements of our bodies of all lost will and lower human consciousness. So the elements of our physical bodies may soon register and express Christ consciousness. Goddess of music, beloved melody, blaze the music of the higher spheres into our being and worlds. Let the music the harmonious music of the higher spheres be the great harmonizing and healing presence that completes our healing and initiates the greater raising and resurrecting activity of our beings and worlds. We thank you. I am so grateful I am so grateful, I am so grateful, and I accept that it is done. Beloved Rose Christ, I am, beloved Rose Christ, I am, beloved Rose Christ, I am. In offering you, beloved hearts, this prayer decree call, to my sisters, myself, and the beloved goddess of charity, beloved joy. I hope that you will recognize that all of us as ascended beings, that we too, we are here to assist you. The door is open. Call to us and we will be forever grateful for the opportunity to come and help you in your lives on earth. I remain, and in eternal service to you, the Goddess of Harmony. Namaste, 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 our dear friends of love's eternal presence. I thank you.